To my channel my name is timmy cash baby cash is in the money because it's money always a period okay <laughs> if you're new here welcome to the champions league where winning is the must and of course if you're a returning subscriber hey baby welcome back and you guys know what you gotta do you gotta share you gotta like as well as comment happy happy 2024 this is the first time you guys see me in the new year i had a christmas vlog but unfortunately tragic struck in the household so i was not able to post it my partner lost his best friend so it was very very emotional everything has just been upside down definitely not the way we anticipated to start the new year you know so it was shortly after christmas so actually from christmas there was a lot going on so i didn't think it was actually appropriate to continue that vlog because i was also not in the right head space and there was a lot going on and i had to be there for him as well so now is the time to actually be back and continue what we were doing but i didn't leave you guys hanging i left you guys with a birthday vlog vlog we traveled baby we traveled <laughs> so yeah if you guys remember I actually bought a gift for his best friend's son for Christmas and I put it underneath the tree you know in anticipation that he was coming the next day and unfortunately they did not make it so I don't want to want to get into it but all I'm gonna say is appreciate your loved ones you never know when the day is gonna come you know we're all living on borrowed time and make the most of each and every single day and if your only prayer is God thank you that I'm here in the new year then so be it it's more than enough all right so yeah, on Christmas I got some gifts for the kids if you guys remember and i gave them their gifts my son hasn't opened his because of everything that's been going on so i think one of these days we're going to do it but um i just took mine off the christmas tree because i want to unbox it for you guys um the gift that i got from hubby and i know what it is you know i'm the, 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 I'm the one that chose it <laughs> but yeah i want to share it with you guys and show you what i got i give it i give it Hey, hey, I'm so excited. So yeah, we're gonna unbox that and yeah, we're gonna do other stuff as well. But for now, we're just gonna do the unboxing. So if you are here and you have not yet subscribed and you're doing so just now, in case you forgot, don't forget to drop a comment for me down below and say I've subscribed. Because a lot of you are watching, but a lot of you haven't subscribed. And of course, it's festive season, a lot of what's going on, and a lot is still going on, so you might have forgotten. But don't forget to support your girl and drop an I've subscribed if you've subscribed down below in the comments section. So welcome to the Champions League, where winning is a must, a period. <laughs> Alright guys, let's waste no more time. Let's get right into the unboxing so we see what happy got his baby. Eh, eh. If you don't have a hubby in your life, I don't know what you're doing, yeah? Because it's nice to have a hubby in your life. You know, even if it's just a chocolate, if you didn't buy it yourself, it's nice. So you know, me, I recommend Umjo. Umjo is rec highly recommended. I've spoken enough. Let me show you guys. Okay, so this is what Hadi got us. <laughs> yeah, 
guys, it's luxury baby. It's a luxury. Hmm. One thing about my man, he will spoil me. Don't stress yourself. He will spoil me. And I'm so blessed to have him in my life. Like, he will spoil me. He's a designer baby. He loves designers. So he will literally buy us designers in this household. Whether we like it, we don't like it. You will be a designer baby in this house. So yeah, so this is what I got. It's from Michael Kors. Yes, yeah, been sitting under the tree, catching dust and getting wrinkled, but it's okay. Um, yeah. Yes! Okay, I'm just gonna check it here and show you guys. Okay. I'm standing, so it's gonna be a bit awkward. I'm trying not to disturb anything. So that's just the crinkle paper. And then, voila, voila, baby, voila. Okay, so it's written over here. This is the dust bag. Oh, I just put my earphones inside when I came to the kitchen. So this is the dust bag. And it's written Michael Kuss, of course. <laughs> yeah, so... Hmm. Are you guys ready? Are you sure you're ready? You're ready, ready to, to, to see? Let's see. Okay, so this is it. I chose it myself. It was not a surprise. He just said that, let me get you something for Christmas. So I said I saw something that I really, really liked of recent. So he's like, okay, cool. Let's go and get it. So... <sighs> Guys, 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 I will. Yeah. Okay, so this is my new baby. Oh my goodness, I love her so much. So much. Yeah, this is how she looks up close. Mm -hmm. Let's go a little bit of a strap the side as well. This is the back. So it has a little pocket. I think just for something simple. Maybe your phone even. So it doesn't go all the way deep inside. And this is the bottom. It's just got the stuff to put it on the floor. And then it's got the Michael Kors emblem. <laughs> yeah, so this is the bag. I love it so much. This was the last one. So when I went to the shop, I saw black one. And that's the one I wanted, black and gold, initially. But when I went back, it had sold out. There was only this one left. So this one, or a yellow, and I think a red. Like colors that I wasn't, no, I would never go for. So this was something that I was like, okay, you know what? I can do a brown. Not my first choice, but brown is very common. You can wear it to other clothes and style it properly. So I went for the brown instead of the black. They called all the shops in South Africa to see if they still had the black. And it was sold out. Sold out. So this is the one I went for. I love it so much. It's so cute. It's so compact. I'm not a big handbag person anymore. I do like my handbags very subtle. So this is the zipper, right? I'm going to do my best to show you guys as best as I can. And this is it. And then, of course, inside it has a crossbody belt. You just clip it end to end. So, yeah. This is the crossbody belt. It's very simple. It's brown to match the handbag. I'm gonna put it here. So if you want it to be a crossbody, you can wear it as a crossbody. Unless you wanna hold it like this, that's also okay. I actually think it looks like a Birkin. I think the shape, they just said Birkin baby. <laughs> so yeah, this is the inside of it. How am I gonna show you guys? This is the inside, just got like a brown material. And then it's got a zipper inside. And then it's got another pouch inside, yeah. So this is it. Yeah, and then inside it's got this little pamphlet from Michael Kors. What is written? It's not even written in English. Oh, okay, here's the English page. Handbag and small goods bag. So I think they're just detailing the handbag. The handbag is made of beautiful leather or suede tanned with traditional methods in order to maintain its natural beauty and soft. Feel. Please keep your bag away from prolonged intense sunlight, water, heat, and permanent dyes. <laughs> Listen, thank you, Michael Kors. 
this is a little pamphlet and yeah they just put it inside the handbag so i'm just gonna put it back and this is my baby if love at first sight was a person or a bag it would be this bag yeah this bag so yeah this is the handbag what else is in here okay and then this is the receipt Yo, yo, okay, paper cards, so there's the card thing there, and yeah, Michael Kors, before someone says, da, 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 da. shop number, U09, da, 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 da. and uh, Fifth and Ravonia, Sanchez City, da, 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 da. so yeah, this is it, <laughs> I'm not going to reveal the prices, okay, because yeah, no, it's not necessary. So this is my baby, and then if I want to wear it as a crossbody, I can just oh, goodness simply pluck this onto it and wear it as a crossbody bag. He turned up. He turned and he turned on me. Okay, I guess is so. Yeah, I need to just style it and see what I'm gonna wear it with. I'm trying to not like hide it from you guys because I don't know how far the camera is showing me. So. Thank you to my man. Thank you to my man. Thank you to my man. All right, guys, this is my new handbag. At this point, I think I'm even gonna make breakfast with it. Yeah, hold it like this, Ganan. Need to get any breakfast. Need to answer. Need a little bit of avo. Need to go back in here. I'm gonna say, what's there? So yeah, this is my new handbag. I love it so much. It's so dear to my heart. It's so cute. It's all compact. And mm, baby. yeah, so that was my Christmas present from the Habs. Yeah, so I think now I'm gonna get to trying to organize my son's cupboard in the kitchen. I haven't done that in a hot minute. I saw little ants crawling inside. There's a lot of ants at my house, a lot, and I don't know what to do about it. My mom bought me an ant spray, but they are they are fighting the ant spray, so I'm not too sure what I'm gonna do. But yeah. We're gonna try and tidy that up. I think I've got some. Yeah, I might go out for lunch. I think tomorrow or today. I'm craving some spurs. I'm gonna ask the Habs to take me and and baby because I can't go in with baby. He doesn't like to be in his car seat, like I told you guys. So yeah, I think we're gonna go for lunch either today or we're gonna to go tomorrow. And yeah. Hope you guys enjoy my unboxing. <laughs> There's something that I really, really want. So there's a luxury item that I want. And I told baby that I want it. I need it. I need it. I need it to survive. So yeah, that is it for now. I'm gonna catch you guys later. So I've just later. received my checkers delivery. Yo, I was a bus since. Um so I'm gonna show you guys what I got. I got two bags. It's not things that are really like um, hectic. I just got them because I want to cook now. So I'm thinking of making something snappy and very quick. I don't know. I'm so in over my head lately. Um, I think not having help. My mom is not around and my sister as well. They are visiting my grandmother in Swaziland. So I don't have help. It's just been me and the baby throughout the whole festive season. And I think I'm actually really tired. So yeah that's the goal this year 2024 i'm getting my son a helper because you know, oh, i need a moment to breathe so i think i'm just really in over my head lately i don't want to do anything i just want to sleep i don't want to cook i don't want to do anything the only reason i'm even cooking is because of hubby like i'm just thinking what is he going to eat if it wasn't for that i will survive on cornflakes i love cornflakes so yeah i'm gonna make pap and chakalaka yeah, pap chakalaka and meat. So I just wanted to get like chicken because I don't have chicken. I have beef, I have pork. I've already taken it out. It's ready for the grill. I'm just gonna yes, yes, yeah. I'm just gonna grill it in the oven. I'm not gonna go and fry. I'm sorry, definitely not. So yeah, um, I don't want to disconnect my microphone. But yeah, this is my mom's hat. If you know, you know. A hat is for pap. So she brought it the last time and she forgot it. So I'm not giving it back. So yeah, I'm just gonna make pap, um, chakalaka, 
chicken, pork, and beef, and I think baked beans or coleslaw, and that's it. It's the best I can do. And then the next two days' time, I don't plan to cook. Mm. Whoever wants to eat is going to eat cornflakes. <laughs> so yeah, this is what I got from my checkers. It's not a lot of things, it's just the things that I need to cook. Yo, I'm even shorter than the plastic. Okay, so I just got what do they call these robot peppers? <laughs> color color peppers. Yep. I got of course loads already chopped up. So I'm not gonna do any chopping yet, yeah. I'm not gonna do any chopping, it's already chopped up. That's my coleslaw. And then I got some baked beans. I want these for the chakalaka. I think I'm just gonna use one. I'm not gonna use two. Then the other one will just remain. What did I get carrots for? Oh, I got carrots for chakalaka because I need to actually grate them. But I'm not sure why I didn't look for grated carrots like this. It would have saved so much of my time. Oh! I blame myself. I blame myself. And then I just got some chicken drumsticks. So I bought a bigger pack because chicken's hard to find nowadays. So I was even trying my luck when they say drumsticks are available. And this is how many? I think 16. Yeah, 16 pieces. And that's quite cheap. 111 for 16 pieces of drumsticks. So I'm just going to take some out. The rest I'm going to refrigerate them until next time. So yeah, and I don't. I think in this house we don't really like other pieces besides drumstick and thigh. So I'm just like, let me get the drumsticks. And then I've got some shisanyama seasoning for some of the meat. I don't have the spice. It's been run out for some time in the shop. The last time I went to pick and pay, they didn't even have one. So yeah, I got that. This is the second bag. So these are all my cooking stuff for now. Um, I got my fave. What's even cold? I got some Schweppes ginger ale. I love this. This pushed me through my pregnancy. I love it so, so much. It's so nice and cold. I even feel like opening it. So my fave. And we're a bit down with the flu in this house. So it's going to come in handy for everyone. I don't know where have you got this flu from and just spreading it with all of us. Then I got um, a 1.5 liter of Coke. I told you guys, I don't buy two liters anymore. It becomes a waste. But my angel, my angel, it becomes a waste because no one really drinks it. So, yeah. Mm, yes, dear. And then I got these Landsword low fat drinking yogurts. I love them so, so much. The flavor is so good. This is apricot and this is toffee flavor. So I have these when I don't have a chance to eat or I'm going out. Then I just grab a few of them. So yeah, just a bit more of those. I think I've got like six in total. So yeah, that is my checkers delivery. Came right on time. Didn't even take an hour. It's actually very good. I think because it's a holiday, people are busy and people are not around. So actually there was no stumbling block of waiting time. So yeah, I think right now I'm gonna get into the pap. I'm gonna do the pap while I'm waiting. Then I'm gonna marinate the chicken. I'm gonna wait for the other meat to defrost and then I might move on to the chakalaka. So I'm not gonna take you guys through everything, but here and there I'm gonna show you a thing or two, just not waste too much time because there's load shedding. So even if uh, I'm not really affected, sometimes I am, so I need to make sure that I'm done beforehand. Because if I'm not, I'm not trying to start cooking at 8 p.m., 9 p.m. No, I'm going to take everything. Father Fritchini, you lie. <laughs> Don't test my level of laziness at the moment. I'm going through a lot. I am tired of being a mom this period. I mean, I'm waiting every day. I'm counting down before my mom comes back. Counting down for my mom comes back because Kimo, Kimo, Kimo. I love my son to bits, but being a mom is a lot. And I'm have I'm having problems with my feet. So actually, I'm going to order a foot spa. I told him I'm going to order a foot spa. So it's actually suggesting rather that I order a foot spa because I don't have any way to put the Epsom salts. And I don't want to use like a regular bucket because I feel like your feet are going to be on top of each other. So I'm just going to order that on take a lot. And I'm not sure if they're going to deliver it beforehand, before I end this vlog or after. But if they deliver it after, I'm still going to show you guys once I get it. And yes, yeah, so I'll be able to start treating my feet. I'm actually taking collagen as well just to try and aid everything because, oh, my feet, I can barely walk. And this has been mounting up for like months. I think now it's like three, four months and the pain is worsening. So if it doesn't get better, I have to go to the doctor. But 
I don't know at this point. Anyway, let's cook, baby. And then, yeah, let's cook and eat. Love? Love? What are you doing? Because <laughs> my son doesn't sleep unless I remember him. Remembering him is putting on my back. That's the only way he sleeps or that's the only way I'm able to do anything. He's going through, I don't know if it's a sleep regression phase or a growth spurt. He doesn't want me to put him down. So I'm holding him 24-7 of the day. Mind you, I had a C-section. So the spinal I got is still affected. My back is painful. He doesn't want to go into his walker. He doesn't want to stand. He doesn't want to crawl. He doesn't want to do anything. He's crawling now. He's walking, holding the couch and stuff. He was standing yesterday freehand. He doesn't want to do anything. So I don't know what this is, but whatever it is, it's terrible. That's all I'm going to tell you guys. It's terrible. Let's cook, baby. I want to be in your life until the night is over. I want to hold you so tight, so tight, coming closer. It's been a hell of a ride, but every single moment, you were there by my side.
Like you just say anything when you do, they must commend it. So anything we had to do, I try to do you want to do it. Plenty, 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 so far we be based. Just to make your money. But my people then go say I don't want buy, I don't want die, I don't want payment, I want enjoy, I want job life, I want buy motor, I want build house, I still want to know. You may tell me, what's it up? G wagon, all the Bentley, the girl ride the way, I know be die for nothing. What's it up? G wagon, all the Bentley, the girl ride the way, I know be. Different things them happening, schemes and packaging. In a one night for shows, I'm juggling. Go like the ocean, my boat, I'm paddling. Shout out Shina Bella, that's my bro, my family. Frozen trades. When it comes to money, I they concentrate. They got the streets, you are not my mate. If you become a shame, I'll be end of state. But my people then go say, I don't want buy, I don't want die, I don't want me. I want enjoy, I want jump life, I want buy moto, I want build house, I still want to know. So this is my son's cupboard in my kitchen and this is what I was talking about. I think it's so a bit disorganized because I keep adding things and medications and some things he does not use. This is the second part. Like there's a lot going on so I feel like I just want to declutter it, keep what I keep throw away what I don't need and yeah just to put more of a direction here because it's starting to stress me the way it looks so I think yeah if I can sort this out this would be great I also went to checkers to actually just got a checkers delivery rather for a few of the stuff that's missing in the pantry and then I got Bay to go to just came for me to get me a new Zinplex Junior. So yeah, once I've tidied this up, I'm then gonna open this and restock the cupboard with you guys. Yep, so I'm just gonna sit here. I actually even need to mop my floor. I was cooking yesterday and it's a hot mess. So I'm just gonna try and tilt the camera towards me. Yep, okay. So I'm not going to take you guys through everything, but I'm going to take you guys through the day-to-day -day things and things that I need to get rid of. So this is the Nestam. He eats this every single day. He likes this. So I usually buy the big box. This is Instant Oats from Purity. He absolutely despises this. It's actually full. 
I've used it maybe twice trying to make him get used to the taste and he's refusing so I think I'm just gonna actually throw it away and stop wasting my time with it and then this is also purity strawberry flavor he absolutely hates it too I've used it once and it was a lift so you know what I, I don't like wasting food to be very honest I thought by now he'd get used to it and he would adjust to the flavors but instead I think it's actually getting worse so I just feel like I'm gonna rid it because there's no space I don't like clutter and I feel like it's cluttering up this cupboard so this is his milk i usually buy three or two at a time because it was actually looking like it's running out but they were just rebranding so annoying these are his diaper plastics i feel like i'm gonna put them somewhere else um these are like little containers that my aunt bought for him they 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 like snack snack jars if you see the picture so i don't use them as a snack jar i use them for like the nest um so say maybe i put a serving in here a serving in there so that when he's ready to eat it's easy for me just to pour it in and then of course as he gets older i can use them as snack jars if we're going out or whatever so i only open two i'm not going to open all of them so i'm just going to find a place to put them nicely <laughs> This is also purity, my baby, right? I thought, let me try this. I bought this last week. He absolutely despises it, okay? <laughs> okay I'm catching such a big L with my son and food. I, I, like, it stresses me so much. All of this is going to the dustbin. That's painful. I mean, there's people that really need these things and I would not give someone something open. So I'd rather throw it away, but I genuinely do not like wasting food. I've tried to give it to him repeatedly, repeatedly. He does not want any of these um, stuff. So I have to throw them out because they're going to end up just sitting here and causing lack of space. This is also purity. Cream of maize, baby soft porridge. Mm. He doesn't love it. He eats it once in a blue moon, but uh, I, I don't know. I'll keep that one. That's the only one he's ever eaten. The rest, they went to the trash. I'm not even joking. I got these spoons from Tommy TP. How many are there? I think there's a set of five because I'm using three currently. So I didn't open all of them because I feel like he's going to grow. Then I can change them and stuff instead of using all of them at once, right? So it was a pack of five. This is how it looks. So... Yeah, I'm going to keep these because they, as you get older, I'll change. These are also bowls that I got from Tommy TP. And they are a set of four. So I'm using two currently. So when they both get old, I can throw them out and then use these two. So I don't use everything at once. This is my mom. Wormwood herb. Artemisia. Artemisia is what again? Is that flu tea? What is it called again? Ay ay ay! The one that everyone was looking for during COVID. <clears throat> and I'm so down with the flu right now. I told you guys that I'm feeling a bit fluish. Bay is giving us the flu, and it's like it's entering my soul. I'm actually gonna drink it, but it's my mom's. But yeah, this is a toy. Oh, my aunt got him this. It's like a scuff tin, I think like on the go. It's got like locks and twists. So I think as he gets older, he'll always use these type of things. But I just need to stop them nicely. I think this was one of the shower gifts. I need to have a baby shower. He would have showered me with gifts. <laughs> and then this is a syringe for medication. What are you? Really? A whole sushi menu. The dustbin is yeah so that's the bottom one cleared now it's gonna be left with um the one at the top so i know that this is finished it was still a bit so i just need to maybe i'm gonna take this one and pour it in there it's very small because i'm trying to declutter here 
this was an antibiotic he was given by his pediatrician when he had measles my son had measles like very bad measles yeah i didn't even finish it because he didn't want it anymore <laughs> and she said finish it but like he didn't want any like at this point i was struggling he did not want it at all it also has a syringe i keep syringes because these are like everyday uses when you have baby so i'm just gonna throw this away and then i think that's it that i'm gonna throw away from this cupboard this cupboard is just medications these are very good these are posteries for pain baby you need them this when had measles i never used it apply it three times a day she gave me so many things and this is liquid paraffin if you have a baby and they suffer from constipation this is the fighter um i just give it to him twice a day it's oily i know but it did what it needed to do because my son actually ended up going to the hospital because i thought there was something seriously wrong he wasn't keeping any of his food down only to discover because the doctor was taking him an x-ray to discover that his stomach is full of poop so <laughs> You know what? So she gave us this liquid paraffin and then she gave us glycerine upholsteries. Yeah. She gave us this as well. This is also for constipation and it's 100% now. So it worked. Bonnie K. Bonnie K. Bonnie K. He was on this until he was six, eight months. And now I've got a full bottle. But sometimes when I go to the pediatrician, she'll say give him body care as a treatment. So I'm not going to throw it away. And then, yeah, these are other stuff that he got, like going to the doctors and stuff. So I keep all these medications. And then I bought him organic teas from Purity, strawberry flavor. And this is chamomile tea. And he drinks those. But my son gets tired of something very quickly. So not the favorite favorite but sometimes i can i do give it to him and this is also for measles poxkin it's like a foam that i to rub over his body guys i'm so sorry my voice is just disappearing it's this flu that i'm starting to get and it's bothering me and then he recently had an eye infection the doctor gave him allergex but only for us to go back to the doctor because the allergics was not working. Hey, my son. <laughs> I can, excuse me, I can write a book. Prosper, allergics is a must if you have a baby or a kid for an allergy. I've never used it yet, but I asked his pediatrician, what do I use in case of an allergic reaction? Because the last time he went for an immunization and all hell broke loose. So she's like, um, one more of allergic so i bought it in case i ever have a reaction with him so retorina drops if you have a newborn up to like four months this baby this where is this thing this and this together are your fighter this is what saved my son he had the worst colic ever this is from his pediatrician i mean even the belly button is down. There's no hernia. There's nothing. It, oh, see that lady? She, she is amazing. I'm telling you. He has the best pediatrician. Oh, she's absolutely amazing. Uh, Dr. K, she's amazing. I love her. Okay, and this is Ibugestic. This is a very strong painkiller. It's like a Nurofen or something. He got it when he had measles. And then... This is like an immune booster. Yo, guys, there's nothing I don't have in this cupboard, yeah? Because my son, Bean, Bean, going to the pediatrician. <laughs> yeah, what is this for? Whoa, there's two. There's two Retrina drops. I'm trying to remember. I think this was the everyday one when he had colic and stuff. And then this one, he had diarrhea. Diarrhea. Yeah, he had diarrhea. So she asked me to buy him this one. And I mix it with this. So this combination together 
because they had diarrhea. So this is a diarrhea treatment for babies and um, with this retrina vitamin D. Don't ask me. I don't know how, when, why, but it worked. That's all I know. And yeah, this is for colds and flus, <clears throat> congestion mainly for babies, but it's not a baby syrup, but the um, pediatrician gave him this, Dr. K gave him this, so it works amazingly. Yeah, and I think, yeah, it's cowpole, that's a cough syrup, There's some juices for him. So yeah, these are just the things that I want to clear out. Now I'm just going to wipe down the cupboard and then throw these other things away and then unpack what I got from Checkers Deeds, just baby food, pack up the cupboard nicely and then I'll show you guys the end results. But yeah, most of this here is going to the dustbin. And then, yeah, at least it will give me an idea of what's missing and what needs to. This is going to his toy box because this is actually a toy. I don't know what's doing here. I don't know if you call this thing. He had like five ducks. Now there's one duck. All right, well, let's finish. I just tidy up and I'll be back to show you guys the end results. Yo, goodness me. I don't know how I'm going to stand up from here. Okay. Wait. so i'm officially done with my son's cupboard it looks so good so proud of myself because i don't know how my helper always just leaves it the way it is but anyway some things you gotta do them yourself if you want them done perfectly so yeah um this lou wants to take me out so i just told Bailey like let's go to spur because i'm not gonna cook and i did say i've been craving spur so i think i'm gonna go change now and then we're gonna head out and go to spur and then yeah let me go eat my favorite meal of all times mac and cheese and then we're gonna have like a combo or burger i'm gonna see and then yeah i'm gonna have spur and then i'm gonna relax for the rest of the day so i'm gonna catch you guys later Mwah. I'm talking crazy, I need you right in my space, but I need it, baby, I'm late, but I still can check in with you, I know that I need my friends, but I wouldn't want to leave, you know, I wouldn't want to bleed, even my heart, my mind, and my body, See ya. 